Did you know that 80% of trikes that are sold here at Utah Trikes are ordered with a motor? Whether it be a pedal assist motor, a throttle motor, there's a lot of different kinds of motors that people are into. You could be a rider just trying to get to work, a cycling hobbyist who needs some support, someone who just wants to go fast, or someone who's trying to just casually ride your trike. Oof. There are many factors that go into making a motor purchase and why one might be right for you. So in today's video, I want to do a breakdown of some different riders that can benefit from a motor, how a motor can solve some of their problems, and hopefully some of yours too. So let's get right into the motor breakdown. With electric motors being so popular as of late, you may be wondering what all the hype is about and if a motor on your trike is something that's right for you. Motors can be expensive and not be ideal for certain riders and their riding styles. There's also a ton of different kinds of motors with different properties that lend themselves better to one type of riding over another. So much to factor into one decision that it can be really overwhelming for a lot of customers new to cycling and triking. But for some people, it may be a necessity for you to be able to enjoy your ride at all. So let's cover what a motor is good for and how they can elevate your ride. So there are four categories of riders who are looking for a motor. These four are the casual rider. This is someone who's not super into cycling, but really wants to enjoy the outdoors and go places comfortably with the support that a trike provides. A motor for this kind of rider is a tool to turn this accessible vehicle basically into a little go-kart you can take on the sidewalk. Most of the distance traveled on this rider's trike is done with the throttle but you still want the option to pedal if you are feeling up to the challenge that day. Number two is the commuter. This is somebody who has a long way to ride to work or just needs a convenient way to save money on gas or just to get their morning workout in. A throttle motor or a pedal assist only motor are perfect for this type of rider. The reason for this is because if you're riding to work in the morning, the last thing you're wanting is to show up to work sweaty and tired. With a motor, it takes away a lot of the effort needed to reach high speeds and get to your destination in a timely manner. You can get through your commute much faster than you would on a non-motorized cycle and with half the effort. This option is especially useful for the commuters who are much farther away from their destination. If your place of work was just three miles away, that's not too big of a deal. You can tackle that pretty easily on a non-motorized trike. But say you're 10, 15 miles from work. A motor is going to make that distance a lot less daunting of a task. Number three is the purist. A purist thinks a throttle on a trike is a sin. This type of electrical bike is ruining our society and our public spaces. Or so they believe. <laughs> all jokes aside, the only reason they're going with a pedal assist only motor at all is because they don't want the ability to fall back on a throttle. It's all too easy to fall for the temptation of a throttle that just makes easy transportation with no work and sometimes you just want to get exercise with a little assistance. And on the other hand, some riders just aren't physically able to cycle effectively without some assistance. For the recumbent trike market, where these cycles are a lot more accessible for the disabled and elderly, a pedal assist only motor gives the ability to naturally pedal and get your exercise with the support you need to tackle any obstacles you may face, no matter your physical ability. A lot of the pedal assist motors also just have the most natural feeling assist where some of them you can actually forget you have a motor assisting you. This is because they're outfitted with torque sensing systems, but we'll talk about that more later. Number four, the speed demon. This is the rider that needs to be going fast at all times. The most obvious solution to this is a motor because of its ease of acceleration and how quickly you can hit your top speed. These types of riders usually go with a pedal assist motor. It's a lot more fun to feel like you're pushing yourself to hit those top speeds than to just let the throttle do all the work. Another reason is because our fastest motor that we carry is a pedal assist motor. The motor in question is the Bosch Performance Line Sport. This is a class three motor built for a road use only that can hit a top speed of 28 miles per hour, allowing the speed racers out there to go as fast as possible on their trike. Now that we've covered who is getting motors, now it's time to talk about why you'd be getting a motor. Maybe four types of riders helped you figure out what type of ride that you're looking for, but there's some subtle things that you'll want to be aware of to make sure that that type of motorized riding life is really for you. With every category of rider, each comes with their own unique set of motivations and reasons for a motor. So let's break these down 
and find out what electric assist does for those riders. Let's start with the casual rider. For someone like this, a motorized trike is a way to get outside easier than they could otherwise. A casual rider wants to get out of the house, explore the neighborhood, ride around the park, and feel the sun on their face, usually while getting exercise along the way. For some people, that's difficult to do without a motorized trike, due to lack of physical ability or age. And that is usually the angle that a casual rider is coming from when they buy their trike. So when a casual type of rider comes in looking for a solution, we usually offer a throttle motor, like our Bafangs. We have plenty of different wattage options in this model of motor that can be catered to whatever terrain someone needs to handle. Bafang motors come with a throttle, of course, and pedal assist. It's not the highest quality pedal assist, as some of our motors are dedicated for that with no throttle, but it's still a great assist option if you want to get some exercise in and not have to push yourself too hard. With a single 48 volt battery that comes with the motor, you can get an average ride of about 20 miles on one charge, which is plenty of range for the casual rider. The main thing you're going to need in a motor is a reliable and convenient way to get you outdoors as easily as possible, and that's why this motor is perfect for you. Now, what does the commuter need? The commuter's ride is less about comfort and more about efficiency. The commuter is looking for a motor that can get them to their destination as quickly and economically as possible. This is replacing a car after all, and sure, you know your alternative route will take more time than just driving, but you want a good balance of time, convenience, and exercise. When you're commuting to and from work, there can be a lot of variety in terrain that you can be tackling. So no matter what option you go with, something with the torque to get you through any obstacle is important. So either way, a motor is going to fit what you're looking for. Now you have to decide what kind of motor you want, throttle or pedal assist. What we recommend for the average commuter is the pedal assist motor. On average, the people who want to commute to work also want the exercise that comes with it. Usually we're working with office workers or people who don't get much exercise in their workday. The pedal assist motors we offer are Bosch and Shimano brands of motors. All variations of these motors have a torque sensor for their pedal assist, which is much more natural and high quality compared to the cadence sensing pedal assist. So for commuters going to work who want the exercise of a standard cycle, but need to get to work faster or have rough riding terrain, a pedal assist motor is a good option. It'll give you support and not even feel like it's there helping you along. And unlike unsupported commuting, it'll help you get to your destination faster and without having to push yourself as much to reach higher speeds. A throttle motor is great for the commuter who's really just looking for a fuel efficient way to get to work, but isn't really in it for the exercise. You can have your pedaling options, but can fall back on a hand controlled motor for difficult hills or those commutes home after a long day at work. Then for the purist, it's pretty obvious what we're looking for in a motorized trike. You don't want to have a throttle to get in the way, just a motor that is as non-intrusive as possible. The purist wants to be able to pedal with full control of the assistance given to their pedaling, while also having the motor assist them so smoothly that they may even forget that the motor is even there. Luckily, that's how our pedal assist motors feel. If you go with a Bosch or Shimano motor, they feature a torque sensing pedal assist. What this means is that your motor is constantly measuring the amount of pressure you're putting into your pedaling. It takes this measurement and uses that to determine how much assist it should be giving you depending on your assist mode. This results in the best assisted pedaling you can find while still giving you so much power you can tackle any hill and travel any distance. And that's a big draw of a motor for the purist. If the rider doesn't have the confidence to tackle any hill or hard to pedal terrain, this motor is going to ensure that they don't have to get out and walk their trike up a hill. You don't want to be nervous on if your ride today is going to get you stuck or not. The purist just wants to ride unencumbered. Now lastly, what does the speed demon need? This one's a little trickier because it depends how you want to achieve that speed. A throttle can get you the most amount of speed for the least amount of effort. But for maximum speed, I found that the pedal assist is what can get you there. A throttle motor is limited to the wattage output and the speed cap on it. If you're rocking a pedal assist motor, sure it has a cap at how fast it can actually assist you, but it's not like it's going to stop letting you pedal once you hit the speed limit. At that point, it all depends on your pedaling ability. If you are physically able to push your trike faster, it's a lot easier to hit those higher speeds once your motor has taken you up to 20 miles per hour already. Not to mention, our fastest motor is a pedal assist only motor. The Bosch Performance Line Sport is our only class three rated motor, which means that it can give you a pedal assist up to 28 miles per hour. When you have a motor, you can get a lot more speed a lot easier. Some people want to get where they're going as fast as possible, 
or just feel the rush of pushing themselves to such a speed. If that's the case, these types of motors are going to be the best for you. A motor can be good for many reasons, with riding confidence, much needed support for riders who are less able, enabling you to go outside, higher speeds, increased comfort, and much more. Okay, so we know why you may want a motor. We've broken down its different applications and how the different aspects of one can help you for whatever type of ride that you're going for. But you can never make a fully informed decision without some cons. So let's talk about why you might not want a motor. Motors are all the rage right now, but it's worth analyzing your situation and what a motor will provide to make sure you aren't going over the top when building your trike. The last thing you want to do is spend the extra cash and then get something you never use or is just bogging you down on your ride. And I say bogging down figuratively and literally. A motor adds a lot of weight to a trike, usually about 20 to 30 pounds too. And this can be a problem for people who are planning to transport their trike a lot or are going for a light trike build. When you go with a motor, the weight usually doesn't affect your ride. The assist of your motor accounts for this added weight and works totally fine with it. So it's not that riding weight is a main issue. Where this weight starts to become an issue though is when you're picking up and maneuvering your trike for transporting or storage. Lifting your trike up into the back of a truck or onto a storage shelf can already be difficult enough if you have a bad back. Now put 30 more pounds on that trike with a disproportionately heavy battery on one side of the trike, it gets a lot trickier to move around. So if you're planning to go with a motor, make sure to keep this in mind and have a plan for how to transport or store your trike while accounting for that extra weight. Another thing to consider is competition. If you are planning to compete with your trike in any events like a triathlon or a race, you usually won't be able to participate with a motor. Meaning that if you are planning to be competitive or training to do so, you should probably go without one. And then one of the biggest drawbacks of a motor, the price. The price is definitely something to consider when getting an electrically assisted trike. They are on the more expensive end of accessories, so factoring that into your purchasing plan is important to ensure that you can afford it. But pricing wise, a motor is worth it, if that's what you are going to need to actually enjoy your ride. Sure, these add a lot to the price of your trike, but a more expensive trike with a motor that you ride all the time is always more valuable and worth the money than a cheaper trike that you hardly ride because you don't have the support that you need to enjoy your trike rides. If pricing is a problem at first, or you just want to feel out your trike and make sure it's the right ride for you before you drop as much cash on a motor, this can always be installed afterwards. Except for on the Shimano motors. They have to be ordered from the factory with our European trikes, so be aware of that. Our Bafang and Bosch motors can be installed in our shop by our mechanics on an older trike. All you need to do is bring it in and we can take care of the install for you. Or if you are mechanically inclined or can't make it to the store, we offer Bafang install kits for all the trikes that we carry. You can order these kits online and install them yourself from the comfort of your home. When considering a motor, make sure you keep in mind all your riding factors. The extra support and pedal power can honestly make or break your trike decision and you don't want to spend the money on a recumbent trike just to not be able to get the most out of it. Whether you want to ride for comfort, for speed, or for commuting, a motor is a great option and can be adapted to any type of riding that you're planning to do. And remember, if you are ever unsure and want a professional's opinion on if a motor is right for you, you can contact us by email or by phone call and our team of trike experts can help you decide what would work best for you. And that's been our breakdown on why you might want a motor for your recumbent trike. There's a lot of factors that can go into getting a motor, and it can be really overwhelming. So hopefully, today's video could help ease your worry about if something like this is right for you. If you liked this video, remember to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to stay up to date on all trike tips and tricks, as well as new releases and custom builds, make sure to hit the notification bell down below to be notified of all our recent uploads. And if you have a motor installed on your trike, let us know how you use it. And if you don't, let us know how you would in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Now with that, remember to relax, spin fast, and ride trikes. I'll see you guys next time. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Putting too much brain power into laughing. <laughs> now smile. Throttle or pedal assist? What 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 I winged that and it was perfect. I knew it. I knew it.